you think convertibles, you think sun, surf and sand. So why then am I standing here in one of the coldest countries in the middle of winter to drive Mini's all new drop top? Well, Mini doesn't want people to pigeonhole its new convertible as a car only to be driven with the top down in summer. The new model's catch cry is, after all, always open. In fact, Mini has gone so far with the concept of wind in the hair motoring that the car maker has put in a roofometer. A what? Well, actually, it's called an openometer. And basically, what it does is it logs the amount of top down driving that you do. It specifies down to the last minute how long the driver and passengers have enjoyed driving with the roof down. The system is activated once the driver starts the engine and the soft top is fully open. driving the turbocharged Cooper S models. Acceleration is great and on these roads you actually can't see any blunted performance from the extra 100 kilos that the convertible weighs. Okay, so they don't look that much different on the outside, but these new drop tops have a lot of changes under the skin. The new convertibles now use a turbocharger rather than a supercharger, which makes them more fuel efficient than the current versions on average using about 20% less fuel. The convertible models don't seem to lose anything in terms of dynamics and handlings compared to their hardtop cousins. In fact, on these roads, they actually seem to be pretty much the same. They have razor sharp steering, as you'd expect from a Mini. But the trade-off from this is actually the firm ride. It's a little bit bumpy. In fact, on most roads, you can feel every bump. One thing the current convertibles were prone to was scuttle shake. But these models seem to have improved that. In fact, on these roads, you don't seem to notice it at all, which is great. Driving in the Austrian mountains in the middle of winter was a good opportunity to test the car's effective safety aids. The stability control system allows you to have fun behind the wheel as it only intervenes when necessary. While it may have been minus degrees outside, even with the roof down, it was quite toasty inside, thanks to Mini's fancy heating system. The new Minis are due in showrooms next month and will start from just under $40,000. The roof manometer is a great conversation starter, so I'm off now to go and clock up some more miles before we head home.